This week on WhatsApp, as the fires raged in Kelowna, I was talking to my buddy there, Byron, about his evacuation plans. At the same time, my daughter in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia posted a picture of her on the way to work. And then my daughter in Australia followed up with a chat message telling me that my grandson just got a position in a school right next to their home. Good news. All on WhatsApp this week, you know, I feel connected. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. This is the second part of a series titled Talking to Your Grandchildren. In this video, we're going to look at how to install WhatsApp on your iPad, your phone, your PC, and tablet. All right, let's look at how to install WhatsApp. Now, you're going to want to install this on a bunch of different devices, but we're going to start with your phone. Now, why is WhatsApp so popular? Well, it's free. It's been in the market since uh, 2000, about 2009. It has over 2 billion users, which are international users all over the world, as I mentioned in part A. But the unique thing about WhatsApp that you need to understand is that you are identified by your phone number, not by your email address or your name. It's all based on your mobile phone number. So in order to install WhatsApp, you need a mobile phone, a cell phone, and you need a mobile number. If you don't have both of those, you can't use WhatsApp. You should also realize that WhatsApp, not only is it free, but there are no advertisements and there is end-to-end -end encryption on all your information, including phone calls, video calls, and chats. So it is a very secure form of communication. Today, I would recommend that you install WhatsApp on your cellular phone first, and I'll explain why as we go along. So head over to Google's Play Store or Apple Store and download the WhatsApp app. Now, please make sure it looks like this because there are many imitations. We don't want you installing some malware, but if you get it from both those sites, you'll be fine. I'll explain in a minute just how you're going to do this on a Windows PC because it's a bit different. So let's get on with that, download it, and we'll show you how to install it. Okay, so you've now downloaded the app. Just click the install button and install the app on your mobile device. Of course, you'll have to agree to the terms of service, and then you'll have to provide your mobile phone number. This will then be confirmed with a text message and a security code that you'll have to enter in, and that links your phone to WhatsApp through that phone number. Now, there will be a number of steps that it automatically goes through, which will generate permission requests on your phone. It'll want to know your location. It'll want to look at your contact list. It'll want access to your camera. And basically, I would just agree to all of those because they're all going to be needed to use your app correctly. Now, as it looks through all your contacts, it's going to find any WhatsApp members and put them in your WhatsApp contact list. And remember what I said, you have to have a mobile number associated with the contact in order for it to identify that individual. And then it'll check the WhatsApp database and see if they're there and enter it into your contact list. So you will have to enter some contacts, I'm sure, but it's super easy to manually enter these in. So after you get WhatsApp installed on your phone, you should go on to install it on all the devices you have. You can store it on up to five devices on the same account. So I have mine loaded on my Chromebook, my PC, my iPad. All the devices have my WhatsApp account on. Very easy to install. Let's go over to the WhatsApp page. And you'll see here on the home page of WhatsApp, you'll see that you can, there's a download button in the top left-hand corner. Now, I would not recommend using WhatsApp on the web because a lot of the features won't work. It's much better to use the app on your device. But what about Windows? Let's have a look. Let's click the download button there in the top left and see what happens. 
So here you'll see it says Android, so you go to the Play Store. It's uh, the iOS, you go to the Apple Store. So for the Windows version, go to the Windows Store. And if you click this button, it will take you to the Windows Store where you'll download the Progressive Web App for your Windows PC. This works perfectly and is very easy to install. So now you should have all these apps installed on your devices. What we want to do is link them to your main account on your phone. So let me show you how to do that now. All right, let's talk about installing WhatsApp on your PC first. Well, it's very simple. You just run the install program and it will install the app onto your computer. When you open it, it's going to give you a QR code, such as you see in the diagram here. What you then do is you open the menu settings up on your phone and you select link devices and simply scan this QR code. Remember, your phone is the primary holder of this account, so you, everything gets linked back to your phone. And they make it so simple. You just have to scan the QR code and bingo, it's now synced to your phone. So not only does it link different devices, but it also can link new contacts. So if you meet someone that you want to use WhatsApp with, you can simply show them your QR code, which is in the settings. They open up the scanner and can scan the, uh, scan the QR code. You're now linked and can send messages. You can also enter them manually because remember, it's all related to your phone number and you can manually enter by the phone number. Now you have to remember only people who you have contacted and allow into your WhatsApp contact can talk to you. So don't leave your WhatsApp QR code on your website. Don't show it to people or pass it around or put it on Facebook because it is your link to your account and you only want people who you want to see you or talk to you uh, in your WhatsApp account. So let's look at the three features you're going to use starting with the phone. In order to have a WhatsApp installed, you have to have a mobile phone number. So yes, you can call anyone in the world for free because that your phone number has to be there to be part of the app. For free, anywhere in the world. Well, not quite. It depends on your carrier and also the receiving carrier where you're phoning, if there are any charges, but it could be possible that there would be no charges and you can talk anywhere uh, in the world for free. Now, this is not a new technology. Uh, you remember Skype? They use the same sort of thing but the thing that is important that you understand about WhatsApp is that it is end-to-end -end encrypted. It is so important when people are calling in different cultures and different countries that this is secure. Along with the phone system, you probably want to video call and you can video call on, on WhatsApp anywhere in the world for free. And again, it is end-to-end -end encrypted so no one can hear what you're talking about. It is completely confidential. Now, the second thing is texting. Again, you can text anywhere in the world for free. Again, that depends on the uh, SIM card and your uh, plan and the receiving plan, whoever you're calling, but it is possible that this is totally free and you can text anywhere in the world. And again, it is encrypted. So the, the, the last part is the chat, which is the really big one that I think most people use all the time. And it's so you can sort of be part of that, that young group and, and you can keep up with everybody. So we have, of course, uh, set up a group chat for our family called the Brown Family Chat. And we uh, are all on there and it's been great. We were able to chat uh, and keep updated and it's, it really is a game changer. So again, that is encrypted. It's totally secure. So in summary, you can phone anywhere in the world, you can text anywhere in the world, you can chat anywhere in the world, all for free, and it is totally secure. There is no advertising, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Give it a try. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until we see you again, have a great day.